what is the difference between a heavier hammer weight and the standard one that you have in your FX Impact M3? Well, stick around and find out because today it is hammer time. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Peter and in today's video we'll be taking a closer look at the heavier hammer weights. When you buy your FX Impact M3, it has a standard hammer weight that weighs in at 6 grams. But I decided to buy a pair of uh, bigger hammer weights at Huma Air and they weigh in at 7.5 and 8.5 grams. It might not sound like too much of a difference, but the difference between 6 and 7.5 is actually 25%. And the difference between the 6 grams and the 8.5 grams is more than 40%. So there is a big difference. The reason for this test is because I have fallen head over heels in love with the 20 grain slugs from SAN. They have shown to be uh, both accurate and, and consistent at uh, longer distances. So to improve this even further I decided to test out my gun with a heavier hammer weight. I have been able to reach the desired velocity of around 940 feet per second um, with the rec pressure of, at uh, around 130 bar. But the problem with the standard hammer weight is that I need to turn up the quick tone system quite a lot and make the hammer work very hard to, uh, to get those velocities. So I want to see if uh, these heavier hammer weights does make a difference in the pursuit of uh, extra accuracy. But before we start the testing, I want to mention that I'm using the 700mm heavy liner. And I can't stress this enough, it is a heavy liner. Because if you want to shoot anything heavier than 15 grains, it is a very, very good idea to use a heavy, li heavy liner. Just mentioning. And the reason for using the 700 and not the 600 is that I like to keep my regulator pressure quite low. So, as I said, with this uh, 700 I can uh, reduce the reg pressure to around 130 bar. And for comparison, if I'm shooting the 600mm liner, I need a pressure of uh, 140 bar just to shoot the 16 grainers. So, yeah, the 700mm liner does make a pretty big difference. So let's dive into the testing of the standard hammer weight. In this uh, test of the standard hammer weight of 6 grams, I have the regulator at uh, 132 bar and the quick tune system at 4.1. So let's dive into the test and see how it goes. bit of wind. Anyway, there's an explanation for it. Yeah, that's a beautiful group. Let's go and uh, check it out. Okay, so back with the target and it looks like this. It's a three centimeter group with uh, just one that uh, got away, so it uh, makes the group size uh, three centimeters, uh, but uh, four of them was uh, within uh, like uh, 1.8 centimeters. So that's uh, very, very acceptable here at the uh, 100 meters. But accuracy is one thing. Uh, the other thing is uh, how does um, the gun feel uh, with this hammer in this setup shooting the, the 20 grainers. As I told you, the hammer is on uh, 4.1 and of course I have to compare it to what I usually shoot and that, those are the, 
the 16 grainers and I have the hammer at around uh, 3.2, 3.4 while shooting those. And of course there, there is a difference. It's, um, it sounds, uh, 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 sounds much louder when I'm shooting the gun and it feels like uh, the hammer is doing a lot of work. So hopefully uh, by installing uh, one of the heavier hammers it uh, will uh, reduce uh, hammer tension but uh, I guess that uh, we'll find out. So the verdict for, for this hammer is that it definitely has to do a lot of work to, um, to, to get the power that I need. But uh, I hope that uh, the heavier hammers uh, will work better. So uh, let's uh, mount a heavier hammer and uh, find out uh, what the difference is. Okay, now the gun's been set up with the 7.5 gram hammer and we're ready to shoot. It's actually around two weeks later, uh, but because the weather has been a bit of a challenge here in Denmark, this was the first available day. So let's dive into the shooting and uh, when I've done the accuracy testing, we'll be looking closer at the setup. Couldn't really see that one. I mean, apart from one that I, I couldn't really see, it looks like a pretty good group, but uh, anyway, let's go down and uh, check it out. Okay, so uh, back with the target, and as you can see here, it is a 2.7 uh, centimeter group, and comparing it to uh, the group that I shot with the lighter hammer, the, the 6 gram hammer, it's uh, roughly the same. The group that I shot with that one was uh, three centimeters, but uh, four of the shots uh, did uh, group a, a bit better. Whereas this, uh, I don't know um, what to say about this, but the one that I I thought that I I, I couldn't see, or the one that I couldn't see, was the one that was uh, just so close to the center. I feared it a, a little bit that uh, the the place that I hit was uh, at that uh, scratch that that you can see here at uh, at the side of the. Of the target but luckily it wasn't so a 2.7 uh, centimeter group is uh, is a uh, very respectable I must say that uh, today this wasn't my first group and I'll give you an explanation why because sometimes when you shoot at um, at um, shorter distances like I do uh, back home I have this uh, 34 meter range um, the, the groups can uh, can show to be uh, better at uh, different velocities and when I started shooting here uh, at 100 meters today uh, I had the gun at uh, 928 feet per second and I just couldn't get it to group well so I had to do um, a, a little tuning to, to find the right velocity and uh, surprise surprise <laughs> the, the velocity that I found was very close to the one that I was shooting with the 6 gram hammer and um, that was uh, 937 feet per second whereas with the, um, with the lighter hammer I shot uh, 940 I think I forgot to mention that so with that said Let's go into um, to the, the setting and the, and the feel, feeling of the gun after changing the hammer. Um, with the lighter hammer I had um, the regulator at a 132 and that's exactly what I have it on today. So the only thing that, uh, that changes is uh, the quick tune system. With the lighter hammer I had uh, the quick tune system at around uh, 4.1 and today I have it at 3.3. 
So there's definitely uh, a change in that. And the feeling of it uh, is as you could expect. expect. Uh, I have been shooting the 16 grainers uh, with a regulator at uh, around 118 and the hammer uh, just around where it is right now. And it, it's, it's almost the same feeling as uh, shooting 16 grainers. So uh, in terms of what to choose between the 6 gram and the 7.5 gram hammer, uh, I have no doubts that the, the heavier hammer uh, gives a, a much better uh, feeling uh, of the gun. So with that said, Let's move on and uh, take a look at the heavier hammer, the 8.5 grams. Okay, this is not meant to be a uh, how to replace your hammer weight video, but I will show you how easy it's done when you have uh, come this far. I have taken off, off uh, all the things that, uh, that you need to, and I'll just show you how to do the, the final step of uh, replacing the hammer weight. Now you have a bit close of you and basically it's just to pull out the rod here and then tipping the gun forward and you have uh, the hammer itself, the hammer spring and the hammer weight. You can see this is the hammer itself and this is the hammer weight that we are replacing. So taking it like this and then you can see the difference between the 7.5 uh, grams and the 8 grams hammer. I just want to loop it up just a little bit before in installing it. Don't overdo it, just a tiny little coat here. And then insert it into the hammer again, like this. And that's basically it. Some of you have been asking me what kind of a first stage uh, regulator I'm using because I'm usually filming my gun from the side, but what you can actually see is uh, this, uh, the dual bottle adapter. So this is what uh, uh, I have on my gun. I do have the first stage uh, regulator in behind here, so it's not because I have uh, canceled the first stage, it's just because I'm using this uh, Sabre Tactical dual bottle adapter. One week later, 8.5 gram hammer installed and still wearing the same t-shirt. I'm ready to test for accuracy here at 100 meters. a little wind right now. That was a decent group. Let's check it out. This is how the target looks. It looks uh, absolutely amazing if you ask me. It's a uh, 2.3 centimeter group here at uh, 100 meters. And I would say that it, it is uh, very respectable. Um, talking about the settings, uh, I have the regulator once again at uh, 132 bar and I have reduced the quick tune system to, uh, to 2 as you can see here so that's uh, very low. I was shooting the 20 grainers here and on this test uh, again at uh, around uh, 940 I think it was uh, 942. Uh, you have to uh, calculate that there is a, a change in the harmonics of the gun when you change a, a hammer weight so 
if you're shooting at uh, one particular distance, say uh, 937, uh, it is likely that you will have to change this velocity uh, when you change the hammer. But then again, uh, talking about temperature, air pressure and everything, um, you, you might uh, <laughs> have to do that anyway. So it's difficult to say uh, what it actually means uh, that you have to, to change, but uh, just take it into consideration that uh, you can't go into the forest and uh, expect to shoot at uh, 937 uh, every day and uh, that goes for all kinds of ammunition, at least that's my experience. But yeah, anyway, that was uh, the accuracy and I, th I think it, it, um, it is uh, absolutely uh, respectable here uh, with the 8.5 gram hammer. Um, the feeling of, of the gun is, uh, is very different. It is. Uh, once again, it, it doesn't have this uh, this distinct uh, hard, uh, loud sound that you have with the with the six uh, gram hammer, um, and as as I said, with the seven point five, uh, it 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 uh, is slightly reduced, and uh, even uh, with the eight point five gram hammer, it's even more reduced. So, verdict. Um, I mean, for for accuracy, um, on paper. Uh, it looks like the uh, the, the 8.5 gram hammer is uh, the winner, but uh, when I have shot the the other uh, weights, I have shot uh, better groups than this, uh, <laughs> so uh, it, it's difficult to say. In in my personal uh, experience, uh, shooting these uh, three uh, hammer weights, uh, I don't really see that much of a of, of a difference uh, when you're shooting uh, over and over again. So the consistency is more or less the same. Um, if I am to choose a, a weight, I think I would go for the for the 7.5 uh, gram weight because uh, with that one you can also use uh, the, um, the the 16 grainers and those are the the slugs that I'm choosing in between. Those are the 16 and the 20 grainers. So I think uh, in in my um, personal opinion, I'll go for the 7.5 uh, gram hammer. But the big question that we'll have to answer is. Is uh, this something that uh, you should do uh, uh, if you're shooting uh, all kinds of ammunition? And I would say definitely not. Um, if you're shooting uh, 16 grains uh, slugs like I'm usually shooting, uh, I would say that the standard hammer is more than enough. You don't have to think about anything uh, about uh, the hammer weight. But if you're uh, planning on shooting uh, the, the really heavy slugs like uh, I did in this test, the, the 20 grainers, um, it could be a, a good idea, or at least uh, I, I think it is. But if you're shooting like uh, 13 or 15 grainers, there's no need for it at all. But then again, remember that I'm shooting the 700 millimeter liner. And if you're shooting the 600 millimeter liner, you might have to increase your, your hammer weight because you need so much uh, pressure to get the velocities that you need. So my grand conclusion is, if you want to shoot the heavier slugs like uh, the 20 grainers, it's a good idea to increase your hammer weight. So if I was to go back to shoot the 16 grainers, yeah, as I said, I'll change back to the 7.5 gram hammer. But as a little teaser for my next video, I'm not gonna do that because in my next video, I am gonna go velocity crazy and test uh, these 20 grainers all the way up to, yeah, maybe even uh, 1100 feet per second. There is a certain somebody uh, who is not uh, anybody. Uh, the godfather himself, Ted Beer, uh, shot, uh, those were NSAs uh, in 22 caliber. He shot those at uh, 1100 feet per second and he, he made, a, I think it was a 1.1 centimeter group at uh, 100 yards. So yeah, it, it doesn't mean that, uh, that you can't uh, hit anything if you go uh, that high in velocity. But I've been looking at, uh, of course, uh, Ted Beer and uh, the South Africans, and I've seen them shoot uh, at uh, blistering speeds, like at uh, uh, 1,050. So those are the, the velocities that I want to see if the 177 can compete with. But right now, the, 
20 grainers seem to work uh, pretty good at uh, around uh, 940 feet per second. But yeah, let's see and uh, yeah, stick around for my next video. So with that said, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and please share your experiences uh, in the comment section below because uh, it seems like uh, there's a kind of a bit, bit of a community going uh, in the comment section. So do check it out. So with that said, take care and shoot safe.